Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys your Divine Masculine Weekly Confessions reading. So today's theme is You're the Ghost in My Sheets. So I do tend to channel for Divine Feminines since you guys are the majority of my viewers. So I'm going to do it from your perspective. And I also do channel for those that are experiencing either a separation or challenge in their connection. But of course, as usual, only take what resonates for you and get rid of anything that doesn't. All the decks as well as this beautiful organite here will be listed in the description box down below. So let's Let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing that's up is what continues to keep this love alive. So let's just see what is this energy here? What is the energy here between you and your masculine that keeps this love going, that keeps it alive? We have, ooh, look at this intertwine threaded souls divine flame so for those of you that might be looking for some sort of a confirmation that there is some sort of a divine love connection here i feel like you just got it so that's the main reason that keeps it alive is that the two of you guys are intertwined your your souls are threaded into one another there's a reason that you're still connecting we also have sets the spirit free release make a decision and closure very interesting so i feel like neither one of you have really got, gained the proper closure closure with your connection with each other so this also keeps it alive is unfinished business what else we have a door honored to be connected wow uh, the, the thing is you guys just both adore one another you guys both have a lot of you know positive thoughts and feelings towards the other so you guys you know are honored to just have known each other honored to be connected it doesn't mean that there is no lower vibrational energy or any kind of um issues or you know traumas and things like that it just means that maybe the two of you guys are focused more on how you see each other in a very positive way so this also also keeps you guys connected and we have the kiss of the moon intuitive enchantress and sensual wow so there's a psychic connection between the two of you guys that's immediately coming through um and it seems maybe to be really activated at certain uh phases of the moon there could be you know it's like full moon energy it could be something where it's just really powerful you're getting a lot of dreams you're having a lot of psychic uh, connection telepathy very sensual energy it's funny this is the, you're the ghost in the sheet so there could be just a very sensual intense energy like an enchantress that comes in the night basically so definitely feel like there's some psychic love energy here there's some psychic sensual energy for sure so yeah let's go ahead and get some tarot cards actually i'm not going to use that deck i'm going to use this one here all right let's see Ooh. all right well this card wants to just pop through we have the six of cups you guys and the six of cups to me is a couple of different things first of all it's the past that connects the two of you this could be you know the things that you experience together in this particular life the memories are there the memories just remain with both of you so you guys you know uh, think back on this connection very fondly of one another there's this sense of nostalgia there's this sense of connection with somebody who just gets you so this is another reason that keeps this love alive is just you know your your memories together and the history between the two of you all right let's see what else well we have the ace of cups there's uh look at this cute this this little boy here he's offering her the cup there's that cup here this to me is the cup from the divine divine love divine divine connection here so what keeps this love alive is spirit actually spirit keeps this love alive it may be that you get signs from spirit and it's not about to stay connected to this person or put your life on hold for this person or stay in a miserable state where you're stuck absolutely not that's not what the divine or spirit of the universe wants for you the universe doesn't want to see you suffer um you know it may be though that there is something that you still need to learn about yourself through your person through being connected through the memory or something like that but yeah spirit is definitely offering you some sort of an opportunity to make peace peace with this person peace with yourself and it doesn't necessarily e either mean like 
spirits pushing you to make contact with this person you know your your divine masculine to you know try to work it through especially if you've done that before and you've been rejected the divine doesn't work that way to push you to do things that you're just going to feel like shit over and over and over again so we have to basically learn that you know you you try something it doesn't mean you don't try again but usually when someone is not open to the experience or they're blocking you or they're rejecting you in some way it's always best to let it go and let them then do kind of like you know it's like uh, tennis a tennis match it's their turn the ball's in their court I feel like that is a healthy way to think about anything, whether it's friendships, whether it's anyone. It needs to be reciprocated. You have to give somebody the opportunity to reciprocate that energy. And sometimes that's not always easy to wait for, and sometimes it's not always easy to accept. And sometimes people do get stuck with that period of, well, do I wait for this? Do I put my life on hold? Or do I just keep moving forward? I always suggest in my readings, you guys always move forward. These connections, if they're meant for you, will find a way to work their way back into your life. Okay? So I always have to just kind of put that out there whenever we do, we're doing these kind, kinds of readings. Oops, need to turn that off. All right, here we go. Let's see what else. What else is keeping this love alive besides the divine, besides your history and the connection here? Okay, so what's keeping this love alive, you guys, is just your thoughts about one another. The father of knives here is the knight, I'm sorry, the... Um, king of swords if i can like think correctly here yes the king of swords in this deck the king of swords is somebody who is very much in their head they're very much um logically and rationally thinking about the situation so the way that we're thinking about this situation also keeps this love alive so what i'm getting here is you guys are thinking of one another you're very nostalgic on the past you're thinking more in terms of more um love here than anything else so i feel like what keeps this alive is your high vibrational thoughts about one another you know maybe even thinking about your person and kind of getting to the truth of the matter maybe understanding your person understanding yourself I think that each soul connection gives us an opportunity to learn something of great value. And sometimes those things can be difficult to look at. But the King of Swords is somebody who is strong enough to take a look at it, even if he doesn't like what he finds, right? So I feel like that's also a mastery energy. It's a master of one's thoughts. If you can just try to master your thoughts on this one and not let yourself get to a place where you're just drowning in misery or you're lost without this person, uh, you know, I feel like you will be able to move forward in such a very beautiful, productive way. Learn what you can from each individual, you know, and, you know, make peace with yourself and this person within and just continue moving forward. So I just feel like what keeps this love alive is forgiveness. What keeps this love alive is peace. Also, what can keep things alive is trauma, hate, all those things. It's all energy. It all fuels something. But I feel we're being given an opportunity from the divine to find a more peaceful way to hold this person's memory, to hold this person's um, just energy within our within ourselves. I love that. All right, let's see what else. Oh, we have the four of coins. Interesting. I just have to say with the four of coins, I don't feel like either one of you have actually let the other person go. And um, four of coins means we're still holding on. So I feel like both of you are still holding on to this, whether you believe it or not. You're still holding on to this. And um, I don't feel like it's just one-sided. I feel like your person is coming through. The Divine Masculine is coming through. That King of Swords very much thinks of you, is very nostalgic of you in this connection. And maybe perhaps when things are you know, settle down or they've gotten things figured out or whatever it may be that they come back with this cup because you can clearly see this masculine energy coming to her and offering her that cup. So it is possible, right? It is possible that this love is continuing to stay alive because maybe one day it will be presented to you again in a whole new light, in a whole new fashion, basically. All right, let's get a couple more. We have justice. I feel like what also keeps this love alive, you guys, is that there is unfinished business between the two of you and somebody may need to make wrongs right here. If someone did something here, the scales of justice karmically will need to be balanced. So this is another reason. Spirit is giving both parties an opportunity to be balanced here. So whoever is needing to issue the um, apology or make wrongs right, 
this will be something that continuously nudges at them until they do it. So this is another reason why this connection and this love is, is alive still to this day. Interesting. And now we have the king and the queen of the suit. This is counterpart energy. I feel like you guys have unfinished business and there's a conversation or communication that still needs to take place between the two of you. So if you guys are in a challenging spot right now or in a separation, I feel like karmically there is some sort of a cycle here where you two will speak again. This is the queen of swords and the king of swords counterparts, two people that are on the same page, on the same frequency to communicate in the future. So I feel like this is definitely one of the reasons that it's continuously alive is because there's still this thing that needs to be dealt with, this conversation that still needs to take place, this closure, this healing, this apology, whatever it is that needs to take place. So it's like, in a way, spirit is not really, um, you know, you have free will, of course, to like cut this off and be done with it forever. Absolutely. But I feel like it keeps coming up for both of you in the form of memories or in the form of the soul connection, because uh, the universe really does want to bring the two of you together to be able to have this conversation to either receive that healing or that closure, and perhaps to even be in a union if the two of you guys are both ready for that. So I feel like you, neither one of you actually have let this go. And the two of you guys are due for some kind of a conversation at some point in this lifetime. That's what I'm seeing here. And, and also this could be like karma from a past life as well with that six of cups and the justice. You guys are being brought together in this life again in order to clear this up. So that's what I see. This is what's keeping this love alive. Could be karma, but it's also your um, connection here. It's this one right here. It's this divine flame, this threaded soul. You guys are intertwined on a soul level. That's actually what keeps this love alive. All right, very beautiful. So let's now go into how your divine masculine is currently holding on to your memory. So how is the divine masculine currently holding on to the divine feminine's memory? We know that there's six of cups here, so there's obviously memories here. What are the energies that are coming up with the memories that the masculine is holding for the feminine? Mm, interesting. <laughs> Pleasant distraction. What this is telling me, you guys, is that this masculine actually escapes to a little bit of a fantasy world um, or just kind of uh, ruminates over your, not ruminates, but just kind of fantasizes, I guess, over your connection. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of an escape. It's a pleasant distraction from when things maybe are going terrible in his life or he's stressed. He has thoughts of you and it's a very pleasant distraction for him. So yeah, it's, it's something that he, I feel, uses in order for pleasure which can, of course, be that ghost in the sheets energy, right? If you know what I'm saying. Oh, there it is, Knight of Swords. Interesting. Yeah, thinks a lot about you, feminine. So his, so how he's holding on to your memory, he pleasantly distracts himself with thoughts of you, but also what choices that he could have made. Had he made this choice, maybe where you guys would have been, what would have happened, etc. So he kind of plays out this fantasy of how things may have been had he made different choices. Yeah. So that's how he holds on to your memory. Thinks a lot about the decisions that he's made and thinks a lot about what could have been had he made different choices and kind of plays out that fantasy. So it's a pleasant distraction for him. How else is he holding on to your memory? We have bird's eye view. Seeing the big picture, a higher perspective. He sees things from a higher perspective. Um, may be that he sees things from that elevated uh, perspective where it's just like, okay, well, you know, that's nice, right? To have this fantasy about what could have been, but... It, you couldn't have made a different choice back then. You didn't have the proper tools. You weren't ready. So why beat a dead horse? You know what I mean? So he does see things from a higher perspective that it couldn't have worked before. It, it, it couldn't have worked. He's seeing that bigger picture and seeing that maybe it's all about timing. Maybe it's all about just where you guys are at on your ascension and your healing process. So I feel like in a way, it's a very uh, productive way and also a very mature way to look at the situation. We have four of cups. Interesting. Yes, yeah, it wouldn't have worked. Uh, four of cups. It's like it doesn't really depict it in this card, actually, but usually it shows a cup that's coming from the sky. So it's kind of base cups, right? It's coming from the divine. We're offering this to you. But the four of cups usually indicates that 
You can't see it. You can't see the value. You can't see the worth. You can't see because you're so distracted by other things. Maybe you're in a negative headspace. Maybe you're in a just a lower vibration. You're not in the right frequency to be able to notice it. Notice the beauty. Notice the importance of this cup that's coming to you. So that's just what I'm getting here from from. Uh, this energy that is being presented is that this masculine realizes that at the time he was not ready for this. So when he looks at this connection with you, feminine, he does realize that from a higher perspective, like if he had seen it from a bigger, higher perspective, he would have noticed, noticed it. He would have saw the importance of it. He would have gravitated towards that cup. But frequency wise, he just wasn't ready for it. He wasn't. So I feel like when he kind of connects with your memory, he does fantasize about what would have happened had he been ready, where the two of you would be at today had he been ready, what kind of life you guys could have led or where you would be at right now had he been ready. So I do feel like there's a little bit of a, of a regret here, but it's not, it's not to the point where it is in his way to where he's spending a lot of time moping in that or, um, you know, just focusing on the negative. I feel like he's trying to actually elevate himself and to maybe work on himself, right? And think about things from the view of, you know, what whatever I need to work on, I'm going to work on that thing instead of dwelling on and beating myself up for not being ready at that particular time. So I think that's actually really nice and healthy. What else? Oh, the high road. Look at this. The high road. Okay, so when he thinks on your connection, how he holds on to your memory, he actually knows that he does need to do the right thing. So remember that justice card that came through? One of the things that keeps your love alive is that feeling of needing to do the right thing, needing to be, bring justice to the situation, needing to communicate, needing to finish up this unfinished business, balance this karma maybe apologize, etc. Masculine's plugged into this. He knows that this is something that he does need to do with this connection. So he's not oblivious, you guys. He already knows that he does need to do something like this. And it might even be, you guys, that this masculine sees the feminine in such a high, high light. It's very difficult to connect with anyone else because he doesn't have the same kind of connection with everybody else that he has with her, which would be you feminine. So four of cups means he's just not really satisfied with anything else that's being presented to him. And it might be that he finally gets to a point where nothing else is really doing it for him. And so he leans into this connection with his divine um, counterpart, which would be you feminine. Yeah, no, we have the knight of cups. Look at that. Knight of cups to me is basically the knight of swords and the knight of cups. This is to make a choice with the heart. And the choice is in your heart, you know what the right thing is to do. And what the right thing is to do is to make contact. The right thing to do is to bring your cup to this feminine to present it to her. I feel like there might be fear though that you'll reject him feminine with that four of cups. But the thing is, if he keeps his vibration higher and doesn't focus on the fear and doesn't focus on his own, you know, his own stuff, then he can just do the right thing and take the high road. That's what I'm getting from that. So the fact that we've got this unicorn horse and we have two knights here, um, and this one's on a horse, this horse delivers this cup. And that cup we know could be that ace of cups, that apology, what the divine is really in a way suggesting or even pushing, I don't want to use the word pushing actually, um, maybe inspiring, I guess, this masculine to bring forth to you that cup of an apology, cup of love, etc. All right, let's see what else. How else is he holding on to your memory? So there's definitely love here. There's definitely feelings of, I want to share my emotions with you. I want to bring you this cup. I want to bring you this apology. I want to bring you something higher because we have bird's eye view, which is a higher perspective, a high road. I'm getting higher love. And I love that song from Depeche Mode, higher love. Listen to the lyrics because what I'm getting here is that this masculine, how he connects with you feminine and holding on to your memory is that you guys have this opportunity to have a higher evolved love than he's ever experienced with anyone else. We have the dining table. This is beautiful. Um, the dining table says a date, a social gathering, and nourishment. 
So to me, this masculine holds on to your memory as the time that you guys spent together, the good times that you shared and the good times that he wants to share with you once again. So I feel like that's the motivator is this good feeling that he has when he connects to your memory, when he connects to you, your energy. It feels very high, actually, really high. And we have the seven of cups. Yeah, he's dreams, dreams about this. Um, connects with you in this like fantasy it's just this pleasant distraction thing here where it's just self with fantasies of the two of you and I'm also getting here that he may have a lot of choices around him but it's like your cup is actually the only one that really does it for him even though he may have rejected it before he's thinking about choosing it in in current energy so or current um time yeah, so this is how this masculine is currently holding on to your memory and how he's currently thinking of you and feeling towards you at this particular time. So narrowing down his choices. There is a procrastination though with the Seven of Cups and some sort of confusion that he's still trying to clear up. But if he follows his heart, his higher self and his heart, it's going to lead him to make contact and to bring you this cup. That's what I'm seeing here. All right. So now we're going to go into what words of yours are lingering throughout his mind. This could be words that you said. This could be words that you're thinking right now. This is how you guys are psychically connecting. This is it. So let's see what words or what words of yours are lingering throughout his mind. This is the energy you're holding feminine and this is how it's popping up. Oh, two of swords. I feel so stuck. Okay, so the words of yours that are lingering throughout his mind is that maybe you do feel stuck, feminine. You guys are at some sort of a stalemate where things are just not moving. Maybe there's frustration on your end that things are not evolving, that things aren't actually moving forward at this point, that things have been perhaps stuck for a very long time, that maybe you guys have not spoken in a very long time. So that frustration is something that is lingering throughout his mind. He knows you're frustrated. He knows that you also feel like something is stuck and not moving, something stagnant. Okay, we have the magician. I asked and the universe delivered. Okay, so this is beautiful because this could also be something that you did say at once, feminine. You know, like I asked for somebody like you and I, I met someone, you know, you may have said these words like that you felt very, uh, very magic, like you felt a magical vibe. You felt like the universe brought you something very uh, amazing and, and wonderful and beautiful. So I feel like there's something that you guys shared. You shared this magical moment. It's funny, this magic moment. I don't know, it's coming through. I don't know who sings that, but it's an older song. I think from like the 50s or 60s. But yeah, this, this magic moment that you guys shared, whatever this magical vibe was, this mask that still lingers what you said in that moment, what you said when you guys first kissed, when you, when you were in that magical high, there are words that you said or a look that you gave him or a look in your eyes or in your face that is constantly lingering in his mind. So the magic that you guys want shared, that magic moment is with this masculine and the words and the things that happen in that moment linger in his mind. Mm, four swords, time and space is needed. Okay, so you may have asked for space feminine or you may have withdrawn from this masculine. So the things that linger in his mind is your action or the words that you used before you took this space from him. It could have been pleasant, it could have been unpleasant, but whatever it was, you pulled away is what I'm seeing here. You pulled away or you got the hint after this masculine pulled away from you to stay away. And so this masculine thinks a lot about the either side separation or thinks about maybe the words that you said, or like I said, the actions that were taken during that uh, pull away. Mm, okay. Hi, priestess. Can you hear me too? Yeah, that's definitely a confirmation for me that you guys are not really sure if you're plugged into each other, but you totally are. <laughs> you totally are. I mean, I got it with the first set of cards that we looked at here. There's definitely some sort of a psychic connection here between the two of you. And if you guys are intertwined on a soul level, it's absolutely happening. So I feel like he can hear your thoughts. And so he's wondering, can you hear him too? Eight of cups needing to let go. Wow. Feminine, if you've gone through this, this, 
phase where you're just like, you know, I just need to let this go. This masculine has felt it. He's felt the pull away. He's felt you basically needing to focus on yourself and evolve and carry on with your life. That is a good thing. And he definitely has felt this energy coming from you. And you, some of you guys may have even um, said, you know, goodbye, parted ways. I need to cut ties. I need to move away from this. I need to let you go. He's heard these, he's heard these things. It's come up in his um, higher self messages. And we have the Knight of Cups. Interesting. So the Knight of Cups to me is like this magic world that you guys both reside in when you dream or when you fantasize about one another. I never want this feeling to end. It's like, oh God, just being lost in a magical world. This magic moment. That's the song. I don't know who sings that song. I'm gonna have to look it up. This magic moment. Yeah, that's 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 your connection. This magic moment. <laughs> but yeah. This right here for me is I never want this feeling to end. I want to live in this feeling. I want to live in this moment forever. This is something this masculine thinks about to you guys. You guys had this crazy, magical moment. And you guys wanted to live off that high forever. And when you think about that, this masculine is feeling it and thinking about it too. All right, what else? king of cups you are safe with me that's beautiful feminine it could be that you know you've really wanted to embrace this masculine you've really wanted to basically say you know you're safe to open up with me you're safe to tell me how you're really feeling really lent him that heartfelt energy of either forgiveness or just you know being there regardless with like unconditional loving energy. He has felt this. He has felt this energy with you, um, wanting to connect with you because he does feel safe, like he can open up. And I love that. Seven of wands. Look at this. Setting healthier boundaries. So this right here, what words? It could be that this is something that you guys talked about. You talked about how you needed to set healthy boundaries with your masculine or how you want to be able to feel safe with him. Maybe you've also said, I don't feel safe with you. You've had this conversation. He's picked up on this uh, challenge. He's picked up on your, res your reserved nature of maybe trusting him again or letting him back in. We have Knight of Pentacles in it for the long haul. There's this feeling here of, is this something that we can do? Is this something that we can actually sustain in reality? We had this magic moment, that, but we something happened, obviously, and we fell apart. And now we're in separation or a challenge. Is, there, is, is this something that we can do in the long haul? So I feel feminine if you're having these internal conversations. Your masculine is actually picking up on this. He's picking up on you kind of stuck going back and forth, not sure if you can do this, not sure if you could, should just let this go completely or if you could even give this another chance. He's picking up on this energy. And we have nine of cups. But what he's also picking up on feminine is if you just focus on this, this right here, I feel trumps all this other stuff. I really do. This vibration is so high. This vibration is all about you. As in you're focused on your own cups. You're doing your own thing. You're loving life. You're not you know, wallowing in it. Doesn't mean you're never going to have a bad day or that you're not allowed to feel negative. It just means that the majority of your time is spent on the things that you can do or that you can control. And we obviously can't control how other people are going to process things, when they're going to be ready, if they can love us, etc. It, you, you just focus on what you can, um, you know, what you can do. And what you can do is you can provide this emotional fulfillment for yourself instead of relying on someone else. So I feel like what this is telling you, Feminine, is that you have a choice on what to focus on. And you, it doesn't mean that you're not supposed to focus on critical thinking, which is if someone's done something to you, you just let your guard down and you just say, oh, it's okay that you did this to me. I love you no matter what. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. I'm basically suggesting here that, you know, why be miserable in this separation? Definitely focus on things that bring you happiness and bring you joy. Because I feel like this energy versus all this other energy, which is smart, but sometimes that can be, and I feel like that's why this is here that can create a block. If you really want to connect with someone again, if you really want to um, create an opportunity for, for you to be able to, like I said, connect with someone again, then focusing on all of this stuff isn't necessarily, I feel vibrationally or in a frequency going to bring this person 
to you. I believe the only way that those frequencies or those channels to one another um, are kind of like an easier match is when we're not in all of this debris, basically. It's like, to me, it's like psychic debris. And maybe some of it does need to be there until we can work it out. But what I'm getting here, Feminine, is that if you have gotten to a point where you have forgiven this masculine, you've done your own work, you've done your own healing, you've taken responsibility for some of your stuff too, try to focus more on this Nine of Cups energy because I feel like because you're masculine and you are so connected psychically, if you're spending the majority of your time being pissed, mad, just ruminating on everything that went wrong in the connection, thinking about all this crap that he needs to do, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera, instead of focusing on him, focus on yourself. And I'm getting here that this will create a clear channel, perhaps of communication to take place. You know, we're not manipulating it. We're just creating the pathway. That's what we're doing. Okay. And plus it's a win-win because you end up feeling better in the end. So psychically, these are the words and the thoughts that your masculine's picking up on. So you can figure out what you want to do with this. Do you want things to improve or you just want things to kind of stay the same? And I feel like we all have a choice and we can, you know, create things with our intentions and our energies um, and just what we're thinking and feeling. I really do. So anyways, you guys, what we're going to do is we're going to shift over onto the extended. If you guys would like to know more, about um, your masculine, we're going to go here. How does he feel your presence at night when he's all alone in the sheets? Okay. We're also going to see what piece of his heart does he long to share with you? Also, what does he specifically fantasize about doing to you? And what steps does he feel ready to take in order to start changing things around for your connection? So I will put the link in the description box down below, as well as the top comment in the comment section of the, um, the link to access this particular extended reading. And thank you guys so much for choosing to watch this reading. Don't forget to give it some love if you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys over on the extended. Take care. Bye-bye.